Dear God, when will this man stop slagging off his family in public? I mean, being a professional victim has proved incredibly lucrative for Prince Harry. But how much money does the man need? His estimated personal net worth now stands at $60 million. At what point, if you're him, do you look at your bank balance and think, I should probably stop selling incredibly personal details from my life and salacious accusations against my family to the highest bidder? Thoroughly condemned and mercilessly ridiculed across all mainstream media and online, the one thing that currently unites this broken, divided world is a collective nausea of this plonker's incessant money-grubbing sob story. Even before Prince Harry came along, ginger men didn't have the best reputation. But now that he's represented us all on an international stage in such an embarrassing way, we've suddenly slid a good bit further down the social hierarchy. Thanks, mate. With the launch of his new book, we learn that allegedly in an argument with his brother over his ill-mannered wife, Harry was grabbed by the collar, pushed to the floor, and his necklace was torn. Of course, some might argue that Harry is lucky to have a brother who's willing to try and slap some sense into him. We learn that he lost his virginity in a field behind a pub. We learn that he took mushrooms and cocaine. He boasts of killing 25 people while deployed in Afghanistan, an idiotic admission that jeopardises his own personal safety. We learn that he coerced a chauffeur to drive him at 65 miles an hour down the same Paris tunnel that his mother died in as some sort of weird attempt at closure. He claims that when he infamously dressed as a Nazi for a night out, it's because he was advised to do so by Prince William and Princess Catherine. These are all scurrilous, unpalatable claims. No one wants to read his book to be assaulted with these sorts of statements. It's deeply unedifying and depressing, and no surprise that his book is going straight into the bargain bin at shops like WH Smith's. Even those woke wet wipes who staunchly defended him up until this point, under the delusion that his wife was somehow the victim of racism, have all suddenly gone quiet. There is nobody out there anymore willing to defend him. He's betrayed his family and he's surrounded himself with bad people who've taken advantage of his position. Yes, he has plenty of money now, but he's made himself a universal pariah. So what good is it to him? What is most concerning is that we can all see the divorce coming a mile off and a man as weak as he has proved himself to be, with no one left to turn to, is going to struggle to survive when that happens. The only positive is that hopefully Harry serves as a cautionary tale to young men everywhere. Be careful who you get mixed up with and be judicious about how you earn your money. In all likelihood, your family will have raised you with a set of principles. If you're going to abandon those principles, make sure you have something to replace them with. Don't end up like this empty man whose wife, whose therapist, whose publisher, whose streaming service have entirely stripped him of all integrity and self-respect. Please do like and subscribe and support my content by following the links below this video. Also, please do check out my return to stand up now available to view on the Comedy Unleashed YouTube channel, a link for which you can also find beneath this video.